I think it's absolutely delusional to think that we're going to have a sustainable mobility world based on battery electric vehicles. We need hydrogen vehicles because you can address the longer range applications that require high intensity of critical materials without any of those critical materials. We have no lithium, nickel, cobalt in the cars. We do have some neodymium and dysprosium in the magnets of the motors, but of course it's a lighter car, so it's a much smaller motor. And we're also looking very hard at magnet-free motors. We're even looking at copper-free motors. And I think it's not to be underestimated the joy and freedom that cars have brought us over the last hundred years. Hydrogen offers all the flexibility and spontaneity that we're used to in a petrol engine car. You rock up to a filling station and five minutes later you drive out with 300 miles in your tank. And so it doesn't require any of the behaviour change, which is a huge part of the resistance to uptake of battery electric vehicles. Obviously, the price of battery electric cars is, is a problem. Longer range battery cars are going to become more expensive, not cheaper. And so I think economics is one of the reasons why ultimately hydrogen will take a dominant share of the market in, in vehicles.